The chords G, D, E minor and C can be used to play a whole multitude of songs. However, if you're a beginner, you might be struggling with those chords a little bit. So in this video, I'm going to provide you with some easier alternatives so that you can stand a better chance of playing along to your favourite songs. So without further ado, as always, let's get zoomed in. If you haven't downloaded my free beginner guitar survival kit yet, you can do so from a link in the description. The first chord is a G chord, okay? But we're looking for an alternative to this G shape, right? So instead of playing this full G chord with all four fingers here, we can just release these two fingers and we get ourselves a G6 chord. And we still strum all six strings of the guitar and that's gonna give us a G6. And we can even bring it down to just one finger by taking the first finger off and just leaving the second finger. But you'll have to make sure that the underside of that second finger is muting the A string. So we don't want any sound from the A string. And then we just strum all six strings again. It gives us a G6 chord still. A D chord. Okay, the lovely, lovely D. But if you're having trouble squeezing those fingers in there, or maybe you're getting a muted high E string, because it's very common that the third finger kind of leans on this high E string. And if you want to try and solve that problem, well, you have to try and bring the wrist up like this a little bit and onto the tips of the fingers. You should get a full chord. But if you're still struggling with that, you can take the second finger away and you can play a two note version, which is a, a D sus two. And you still strum the same four strings for that chord and even if you're still leaning on the high E there and you're only getting three notes well as long as you've got three clear notes that's still gonna be okay and you haven't got to worry about squeezing that second finger in um, obviously you want to solve it eventually but this is just a, a temporary thing to get you playing some guitar then we have an E minor chord there isn't a lot you can really do with an E minor chord in order to make it easier um, unless you just want to condense it down to one finger which will be the second finger here on the second fret of the D string and then you strum the D, G, B and high E strings and you just ignore the low E and the A strings, the thickest two. But most people can manage an E minor chord anyway. And then last of all, probably the hardest of these four chords, one that people really struggle with in the beginning is C, because it's quite stretchy. Normally people can get these two fingers on, but trying to get that third finger is pretty difficult, okay? If you're not used to the stretch. So if you're really struggling to attain that stretch, just for now, you can take away the third finger, okay? And just play the thinnest four strings, and you've still got yourself a C chord. Still a C chord, okay? Another alternative to this is you could play C add nine, which looks like this, okay? Now you can play C add nine um, with the third finger here and then strum five strings, all right? Or you can also play it with the pinky on the high E string as well. So similar to our original G shape, actually, but with the two fingers down, which is a, a note of it in itself, right? So if you're going from G to C, you could just do this for the G and then bring these two fingers down to get your C add nine. And that C add nine is going to work in place of, uh, of, you know, the majority of your C chords when you're strumming through songs, at least in the beginning. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, check out the video that's on your screen now.